I'm Dr. Turovsky. Nice to meet you. Hello. This is my mom, Saida, and my sister, Hi. Emily. Nice to meet you. I'm going to take you to a different room, so, uh, and uh, you guys, if you can wait here, we'll okay. be right back, okay? Okay. But the consultation is really the most important part of the whole process because uh, this is the, the moment of truth that the, we have to decide what, what size uh, she's going to be and she has to be obviously happy with the, her choices. Uh, also, I have to tell her all the possible problems that may happen with the implants. This is completely elective surgery and uh, fully full informed consent is really necessary. Why don't you tell me what brings you in and what, what are actually your thoughts about the breast enlargement? At a very young age, I felt that my breasts weren't developing equally. I believe that the breast enhancement would make me feel, one, proportionate, and two, I would feel a little bit more like a woman, a little bit more complete and even. Just to show you how it's done, we have uh, here several implants um, that, you know, that I can tell you how the surgery is performed. Here, right now, the implants that we use are saline implants, but the uh, saline implants are filled under the skin and they put it empty and then the little tube is attached to it and the implant is filled so this way incision can be kept to minimum. The surgery itself will be very quick however in this particular case we're doing it combined with the liposuction surgery so altogether it will take probably two two and a half hours. We talked about the surgery and the recovery but we didn't talk about the size. The best thing to do is to try the implants on yourself. Why don't I leave? Yeah. Then we'll come back and see how you like them, and uh, we can change the sizes uh, as many times as you want. Okay? Well, she's really young and healthy, and, uh, and she has a uh, well built breast that they are just too small, and uh, that makes her really an ideal candidate. With this kind of build and uh, her choice of implants, she should uh, really look great. Well, I think that the 450s are. are a little big, but I think that I will get used to it. Yeah, you can always uh, change uh, your decision right before surgery, so we can uh, go a little bit uh, smaller implants too if you want to. Okay, that sounds good to me. I think that she will be um, uh, very happy with the outcome because she's very well prepared for that. Recovery is going to be the toughest moment. Uh, just trying to get home and, and find comfort as soon as all the uh, pain medication wears off. The Okay, here we go. We're going to proceed with the injection of local anesthetic. Her breasts are slightly asymmetrical, so we are going to actually probably put a different amount of saline in each of the implants to keep them symmetrical after the surgery. We're making an incision in the skin uh, on the border of the dark and light skin on the nipple, and this way we'll have access to the breast from there. I'm going through the breast tissue now until I reach the pectoralis major muscle and we're going to create a packet under the muscle for the implant. Okay, the next thing we, we're going to do is connect the implant to the filling tube and it's pre-filled with uh, air at this point. We're going to drain all that air and we're going to roll it to insert it into the incision. Okay, and the implant will go in and only under the skin it will expand into the full length. Uh, we're going to inflate the implant uh, now with the saline. Good, now uh, uh, we can um, do the same thing on the other side. The impact on her breast will be really minimal and uh, uh, will not affect her uh, ability to breastfeed in the future. Right now we're going to close this little incision. I think she's about two sizes bigger than what she was before. I'm very happy with the result. Uh, I was able to... Okay, you are all set. Okay. Here's your discharge instructions. Going home. It's been three months since the surgery and all the swelling has gone away. Everything's healed. with how I look in the mirror. I've actually gone down two sizes. The only thing that I can remember about my past body was, why did I wait so long? I wish I had done it sooner. I feel happy with the surgery. So, um, you look a lot happier. I'm happy for you. 
my first reaction was, wow, All right, is this even the same person? Um, she looked great. She looked fantastic. How do you feel? I feel great. You know, I, I feel... I don't feel like a new person. I feel like my old me, but improved. She seems a little bit more outgoing now, a lot more confident. You can see it in the way she walks, the way she talks, and then the way she dresses. Her self-esteem is growing, and I think her self-confidence is even getting stronger, which I think is great. Now, now I feel more confident and, and blessed that I, ha I had the opportunity to do this. So are you happy? I'm very happy. I mean, is this what you've always dreamed of? It's what I've dreamed of and ten times better. Awesome. And I've never been happier in my life. So, Ma, what do you think? Oh, you look beautiful. How thin you look. Look how your thighs are so slim. The kind of clothes that I can wear now that I couldn't wear before are tight, but not too tight. Um, tight where they can show my figure and emphasize my curves, you know, because I, now I have nice curves that are even and smooth that I can show. It's nice. Yes, look. and look at your breasts, perfect. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it look gorgeous? Yeah. To me, she looks beautiful. And she could wear anything. Now she buys a lot of sexy dress, you know. Before, she didn't like them. But now she, she, she fits it into anything. Perfect. I know. Now I have something to hold these kind of dresses up. <laughs> Before, I couldn't wear these because they just fall right off. I'm ready. OK, let's go. Thank you. I think since the surgery, she's more self-confident and she's um, a little bit more assertive. Nice. Anyway, you look really, really nice. Oh, thank you. She really does different. look good. Yeah. I'm very, very happy. Very good. I wanted to thank you guys for being so supportive. No problem. It was nice knowing that I had my family to support me. And thank you for helping me make the right decision. You turned out real, real great. Well, how are you? I really appreciate everything you guys did. We're always here for you. Well, that's what family's for. This experience has taught me that if you're unhappy, do something about it. I chose to have surgery, and that was the best decision. And I tell everyone if they ask me, do you have any regrets? Absolutely not. Next on Personal TLC, she's an adventurous tomboy, but feels her large nose gets in the way of expressing her femininity on an all-new A Personal Story. Click on TLC to find out more about plastic surgery at discovery.com.